you believe we're just five minutes away from seeing Jody Arias get back on the witness stand. Uh, there is the seal of Arizona. As soon as she steps up there, we will certainly bring it to you. We want to thank uh, Ryan Smith and Vinnie Politan for sticking around with us. They've got a lot of work ahead of them. We'll see you after dark. Yes, yes, yes. yes we will. Yeah. It sounds so provocative, doesn't it? <laughs> after dark, 10 p.m. special tonight. They're going to be there. All thank right. you, guys. All right. We Take appreciate care. it. All righty. Uh, listen to this one. The Boy Scouts of America are reviewing policy changes, of course, regarding gays being allowed in the organization. As part of that review process, a survey is being sent out um, that has what some consider or might consider some odd questions, such as this. Is it acceptable or unacceptable for a gay adult leader to take adolescent boys on an overnight camping trip? All right, let's find out uh, what to blog on. Real voices from the parenting world, stories you're not going to hear anywhere else. Uh, Charlie Capen with us from HowToBeADad.com and Jim Higley from Bobblehead Dad. Uh, thank you both. So let's, let's talk about that Absolutely. question first and foremost. Uh, appropriate, inappropriate? What do you think? Uh, yeah, let me just jump in. I, I think the question is a little ridiculous, honestly. Uh, it's sort of a holdover from thinking gays are somewhat predatory. And uh, mm -hmm. I grew up in San Francisco, a few blocks off the Castro, which is an icon of the gay community. I, my schooling, I, at no time did I ever feel anything but safe and cared for. And I think that the idea of making people separate in that way is just, it's prejudicial. Yeah, you know what, Charlie, that's something I was thinking about. I don't know how to drill this into people, but I mean, I think being you, gay does not equate to being a child master. Absolutely. And Why do we have that You drill thought? it in. You drill right. it in by saying, would you say, is it okay for a heterosexual person, would you have a problem with a heterosexual male going on a camping trip? You would right. never ask that question. So why would we ask that question about homosexual males? Some people will say we'll ask that question, right. Charlie, because we're entering a new era in the Boy Scouts where they're considering allowing gay men to be part of this and uh okay jim let me ask you I this mean, but and 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 the thing is <laughs> there has been a scandal there involving child right, predators right. so how what is your first reaction to this kind of question here's my reaction i think surveying makes a lot of sense but they're, as Charlie said, they're kind of asking questions that are based in fear. And here's what I know, raising kids and raising some boys especially, is you've got to expose kids to a whole world of people, different races, different creeds, different everything. And that's how tolerance and acceptance is built up. I wish they would start surveying them, putting out surveys that are based on how to build build and raise compassionate kids. Mm -hmm. I totally agree. All right. Hey, I want to move on to the next topic here real quickly, a reality show full of Saucy people, <laughs> saucy topics, saucy behavior. They viewed last night on Lifetime. When the Kardashians, the Real Housewives, it's called Preacher's Daughters. Lord, have mercy. The wildest thing you would have done if that wasn't a pastor. I mean, I did one time think about being a porn star. What's this about some porno? Oh, God, please don't never let my daughter become a porn star. All righty. Did you see it, Charlie? What'd you think? <laughs> I... I mean, reality TV is not reality. That's the first thing. If I had to tell, as my son grows, it, you know, we, we read stories every night, and we have to understand and separate myth from reality. And I think that what we're looking at right now is, you know, obviously hyperbole. And, uh, I mean, in terms of my own experience, I, having dealt with people who went to all-girls schools and Catholic girls schools and things like that, the more you try to impress morality on people, they sometimes go it goes against the grain of who they are. We've got two seconds. Jim, last word. Here's what I know. I'm, I, Charlie and I both write in the public space every day. The real issue here is what those families are doing to expose their own kids to a whole world of things that, that should be out there. All righty. Hey, Jim, thank you so much. Jody Arias coming at you next. Live picture there from the court. Here's my reaction. I think surveying makes a lot of sense. But they're, as Charlie said, they're kind of asking questions that are based in fear. And here's what I know, raising kids and raising some boys especially, is you got to expose kids to a whole world of people, different races, different creeds, different everything, and that's how tolerance and acceptance is built up. I wish they would start surveying them, putting out surveys that are based on how to build, build and raise compassionate kids. Mm -hmm. I totally agree. All right, hey, I want to move on to the next topic here real quickly, a reality show full of saucy people, <laughs> saucy topics, saucy behavior. They viewed last night on Lifetime when the Kardashians and the Real Housewives <laughs> It's called Preacher's Daughters. Lord, have mercy. The wildest thing you would have done if that wasn't a pastor. I mean, I did one time think about being a porn star. What's this about some porno? Oh, God, please don't never let my daughter 
become a porn star. All righty. Did you see it, Charlie? What'd you think? <laughs> I... I mean, reality TV is not reality. That's the first thing. If I had to tell, as my son grows, it, you know, we, we read stories every night, and we have to understand and separate myth from reality. And I think that what we're looking at right now is, you know, obviously hyperbole. And, uh, I mean, in terms of my own experience, I, having dealt with people who went to all-girls schools and Catholic girls schools and things like that, the more you try to impress morality on people, they sometimes go it goes against the grain of who they are. We've got two seconds. Jim, last word. Here, here's what I know. I'm, I, Charlie and I both ride in the public space every day. The real issue here is what those families are doing to expose their own kids to the whole world of things that, that shouldn't be out there. All righty. Hey, Jim, thank you so much. Jody Arias coming at you next. Live picture there from the court.